Mark Doherty was many things to me, a friend of 30 years, and we shared so many interests, we had so many extraordinary conversations, but what bonded us most was music. Mark understood its indescribable power. He devoted his life to it. He travelled the globe expressing himself through music, making a difference for audiences all over the place. But what I will treasure most is our connection when we performed music together, particularly if Mark had arranged something and I sang it with him at the piano, I caught something of what Seamus Heaney is writing about, something beyond the borders of time, something indescribable and deeply touching and something that I will treasure always. After all, and see the director says, Keep it clean, girlies. Keep it clean. Take it and you, sir, for he 
he didn't take much of a look. He came down the pit, took ten steps, then flop. He was out like a light, so we stretched him back to the top. <laughs> Sir, sorry, but it caught Mr. George, I must make it clear. Your dispute with the management's not the main issue here. Our country is at war. Special rules apply. You should give three weeks' notice for a strike. You did not. So it went on that we had a four year collaboration with Mark as he wrote some other roles for me in Kentish Tales and Castle Rackrent. Mark was an absolute pleasure to work with. He was an extremely talented and generous musician, and we always had so much fun creating the roles. And, as I say, it was great fun. In my professional singing career, Promised Land still remains one of those rare, magical pieces that stand out. Not only for the wonderful company and the enjoyable rehearsals, but for Mark's easy, clear musical direction, and of course, the fabulous singable music he wrote. Oh. Uh -huh. 
there. Um, I'm so sorry I can't be with you all today to celebrate Mark's uh, wonderful life. Um, we're on tour at the moment, which I think Mark would very much approve of. Um, but I just wanted to say a few words about uh, Mark's impact on my life. Uh, obviously, as most of you will remember, um, we met when I worked on his beautiful musical, The Promised Land, which was an extraordinary experience. He'd pulled together members of the community, professionals, and together we worked on this amazing project, uh, which bonded so many people. I know so many of you are friends still today and formed groups as a result of it. Uh, I myself made a great friend for life in Ian McLaren, who of course worked so closely with Mark on so many other projects. It seems just surreal to think that Mark isn't with us uh, anymore when he had so much still to do on this earth, but the time that he spent with us was wonderful and boy, did he make his mark. Uh, he will be greatly, greatly missed. And thank you all for putting together this amazing day for him. Gentlemen.